all of you. This lecture is a discussion on F. M. Shinde's poem, Habit. F. M. Shinde is a prominent author of Marathi literature who has 24 collections of poems to his credit. His first book, Jalous, was a proclamation of the birth of a writer who empathized with the agony of the underprivileged. In many of his writings, Shinde explores the pain and suffering in the life of the underprivileged. Habit, the poem under discussion, is Shinde's sarcastically ironical attack on the inertness of the Dalits who have become habituated with their oppression for ages. The poem opens with the lines, Once you are used to it, you never afterwards feel anything. Written in the second person, the poet addresses the Dalit community as you. The lines focus on how the Dalits, once getting absolutely habituated to their humiliating subjugation in the society, have lost all their senses needed to feel the injustice and ignominy of their repressed state of existence. Suffering for ages, they no longer feel humiliated and tolerate extreme injustice without a whimper of protest. In a sarcastic metaphor, Shinde goes on to compare the Dalit to a clay statue, silent and lifeless, incapable of protest or resistance. In his passive state of silent and uncomplaining suffering, the Dalit does not even seem to be an animated human being of flesh and blood, but just a lifeless statue made of mud. The poet exclaims, your blood never more congeals nor flows, for wet mud has been slapped all over your bones. Through the metaphor of the clay idol, Shinde directly attempts to provoke the Dalit out of his habitual inertness so that he reacts against an unjust social system. The poet, while bringing out the agony of the repressed Dalits, attempts to sting them with his pointed irony on their lack of voice and language of protest against the hegemony of caste and class. He remarks, once you are used to it, even the sorrow that visits you, sometimes in dreams, melts away, embarrassed. Silent acceptance of his sufferings has become a natural part of the Dalit's existence. Sorrow visits him only in his dreams. He feels the intensity of his pain in his nightmares. But he is ashamed to express his agony vocally before others. As the dream fades away, he feels embarrassed that he experienced the pain of his existence in his dreams. The last line of the poem, habit isn't used to breaking out in feelings, may be subdued in its tone, but lethal in its impact. Habit teaches us to accept, abide, and follow. Habit has taught the Dalit to get used to suppressing his feelings and emotions and never to give them a voice. The Dalit community, so habituated to their state of silent and uncomplaining existence under the oppression of the upper castes, that it has no voice, power, and spirit to stand up in protest against injustice. The biting irony in the last line serves to bring out the poet's anger and disgust at the inability of the Dalits to express their pain and sorrow and raise a strong and loud voice of rebellious protest against their oppressors.